everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. Today we are going to do a haul video from Scrapbooking for Less. I love Scrapbooking for Less. It's a great place to get discounted items and I truly um, shop there often. Things do go out of stock so I check it every day. If there's something that I really want, I order. If not, then I don't. Um, it is definitely worth the money. You will get two sheets of paper for a dollar twenty, so they're sixty cents a piece, and I'm talking Cartabella, Forty Nine and Market, all kinds of stuff. I have gotten a few kits for like ten bucks. I've gotten some ephemera for. I'll go over the prices as we go through it. So um, I know there's going to be glare. I did my best to take things out of the package that I wanted out of the package, or didn't mind if they were out of the package, so the crinkling's not there. But grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, whatever you like, and join me. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, thank you very much for being here, by the way. So I'm just going to refer my invoice here. Now I got the Simple Stories bits for wedding because I am about to embark on my brother's wedding. Um, oh, I'm, go I'm not necessarily, I'm going to do a gift album. I'm trying to see how much these were. These were $3, which is kind of pricey for me. But I, I don't have a lot of wedding things, and it's a lot cheaper than the other parts. Like, way, way, way cheaper. So, and then the page pieces. Let's see, how much were the page pieces? I think they were $1.75. I'm pretty sure they were $1.75, but I could be wrong. Oh, page pieces are $2.50. Again, those are a little bit pricey for me, but I, I need wedding things. I don't have a whole lot. Like... I have very little. So I got those. And the other only thing I got, let's see, in that category is I also bought these Howdy. <laughs> I just, they were just so cute. Look how cute they are. Oh, they're just too cute. I could have used those yesterday, right? But, um, so I did buy those. I love the little saloons and that kind of stuff. I have a trip where we went to, um, a saloon in North Dakota. Oh, what is the name of it? Full Throttle Saloon. So that's kind of why I got these. I have some pictures I, I want to do with them. I also bought these to go with them. And these were $3, I believe. Don't mark my words. I could be looking at the wrong one. $3.50. These were $3.50. I apologize. Which is a lot cheaper than the other way. Again, I bought these I don't, I have a few Western things, but um, Full Throttle Saloon, again, this is another why I bought that, okay? Then the puffy, puffy stickers, let's see, I bought three of them. This is the wedding ones again, the howdy again, and then I bought these because you guys know I have this family fun line. I was just working with this, so I'm just going to add that to that kit. And the foam stickers were $2.75, I believe, $2.25. Um, I don't want to tell you wrong because I don't want you to think I'm lying to you. Okay, two twenty-five. dollars But, you know, the prices will vary depending on what sales she has going on because she does sales all the time. Even if all you do is going to Scrapbook for Less and sign up for their email, she'll tell you when she has special sales, which is what happened in this case. And <laughs> I bought so much stuff. Okay, and then I got these Echo Park dies because I live in West Texas now. I live in the desert, so I decided I needed some cactus dies. Um, I don't remember exactly how much these were, but they weren't terribly expensive. So I got that and Echo Park's a wonderful die set. You know, they have good dies. Then I bought this whole kit. I already have it. I know, ridiculous, right? But I do a ton of winter layouts, a lot. I have a lot of snow pictures, you guys know. I live in Montana for 20 plus years. So yeah, never have too many winter papers. And pardon me, I love some of these papers. I love the snowflakes. I'm always using snowflakes. Even when I, you guys know, I get tired of snowflakes. But I'll flip through it real quick. It was $10 for the kit. I bought two kits. I love the mittens. And then we got the back. We're just gonna go fast. I'm not gonna, this is one of my favorite papers. Hands down, one of my favorites. And I love this. I, why? Why does it have to be on this same paper? Why can't this be on the banner paper? I'm not a huge fan of banners. Put the red over there. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. I'm ridiculous. There's ice skating. And I think you guys have seen me use the embellishments for this a lot last winter. 
but I just, I did not buy this to use it as a kit. I'm not going to lie. Oops, there's that A and B side. I bought this as filler paper because again, like I said, I use a lot of winter, lots of winter. I have pictures of my babies hunting Easter eggs in snow. So yeah, I, I love, you guys know why I love this, right? Like I don't even have to say anything. This is very, very pretty. Snowman, could never have to me, snowman. Eh, it's pretty, I mean, I love it, it's red, but yeah, snowballs, I think that's what it's supposed to, um, Snowman Friends is the name of that paper, but. I Love Winter is the name of the entire kit. Some cut aparts. Love this wood. I'm like, you guys, I like wood grain, but I have become obsessed with white wood grain and like whitewashed wood grain. I am kind of over the brown wood grain. I am loving the white and gray wood grain. I, I don't know why. I, I, I have no reason. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> It just is. Really pretty, subtle snowflake. I like those two when I get tired of snowflakes. And the B side of that one. And then the sticker sheet. The sticker sheet. Now, I think I got a second one of these because these cardstock stickers are $1.75 on scrapbooking for less. I love that price. Um, sometimes they go as low as a buck. And when they go for a buck a piece, which is what happened in this sale, I will get a lot of them because to me, it is like Miss Janet has shown sampling of supplies, right? I will buy the sticker sheet. I'm trying to see if I bought another one to show you. I don't think I did. No, nope, I didn't. Wow. I will buy the sticker sheet just to pair up with cardstock and I'll make kits from just the sticker sheet. So think about that. A dollar, a dollar for cardstock stickers. Echo Park, we're not talking about, you know, some little flimsy one, It's they're good stickers. And so I do that a lot with scrapbooking for less. There's that one, I'm loving this one. This is my favorite sticker on the whole thing. Snow is good, it is, but I love this one here. Okay, so there's that kit. I will show you the other kit that I also purchased. Again, the kits were $10, which is not a huge discount, but it is um, better than normal and I wanted to um, get these. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I love this side. This check plaid, whatever you want to call it, is beautiful. I love it. And I'm not a big blue fan, but boy, do I like it. And even more, look, would that not make the prettiest page? Sometimes all you need is one piece of paper. And I am down to only three choices for kits and collections in my summer. So was this one too? Or this one, I, this one had to have been lower than that because I buy them. Oh no, it was it was ten dollars. I I will buy them now. Is the time to be looking for summer stuff between now and January because all of the kits are going to start going on clearance. Make sure you're checking um, Scrapbook Generations and Cherry on Top and um, anywhere else you like to Scrapbook.com because now is the time they're going to start clearancing out their papers for summer. So now is when I buy summer. I do not buy fall and Christmas this time of year. Forget it, it's too expensive. But I do, just like clothes, right? I had a lot of kids, so now would be the time of year I would buy my kids summer clothes for the next year. Yeah, it's a mom of lots of kids thing. There's the B sign, and I'm just talking too much. Look, you could fussy cut all these swimsuits out. That one's really pretty, I like that one. And looks like ocean waves. My friend Lori could use that for her daughter who's in swim meets. Let's see here. Then a red checker and a polka dot. A summer and a red. So a lot of these I would probably use the B side before the multicolor side, but that's okay. I needed some things. Can Fussy cut this? And I do like this one. Yeah, see, look, I am in love with this. I'm just, white wood grain is my thing right now. Coming obsessed. It's not good. Oh, you guys know why I like this. I like this. In fact, I think the main reason I bought this paper, I'm just going, watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. That's really cute. Is maybe I, I'm going to lie to you here. Love this page. I'm not a huge multicolored, but I love this page. It's very subtle. Let's see if it's on here. Oh, no. I recently bought a teepee paper. Maybe it's in this haul. 
Yeah, I've been shopping too much. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. There is a sticker. I, I did. Maybe it's in this all. We'll see. Okay. So there are the stickers. Love them all. Love them. I just need to bulk up my summer options a little bit. And it is specific tones, right? Like summer is really bold, bright colors. Spring is pastels and pretties. Fall is, you know, the deep, my favorite, deep, rich tones. And then winter is, you know, Christmas, obviously. But then you've got um, blues and purples. And that's what I think of when I think of snow. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go over the sticker sheets that were literally $1 a piece. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay, some of them were a dollar and some were a dollar seventy-five. So remember I said I will buy just the cardstock stickers so that I can make my own kit from my stash. So let me kind of explain how I would do that. This is winter. I love this. I have not been able to find this actual line. I don't have this. Can you believe it? Let me tell you why. Look at this. Look at the critters. How cute are they? I love them. Yes, I found the sticker sheet, which I'm fine with. I will take my stash. You guys probably know why I like this. Because look at the red accents. Red's my favorite color. I can't help it. So I will make page kits to go based on this. Because what I really like is the color combinations. It's light blue, borderline in that teal, but not quite there, and red. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I will make probably two to three page kits. I find that if I do any more page kits than that to go with the sticker sheet, I don't have enough stickers or I don't have enough embellishments to go with it. And then I get frustrated and then I won't use it. So kind of like I, I say to you guys, when you make your embellishments right with your scraps, go monochromatic. Well, think ahead. When you make a kit with your sticker sheets, don't overdo it just because you love the color combination because you're gonna wanna use a sticker sheet and if you run out of stickers, you're gonna get frustrated. So um, keep that in mind and or put scraps in there of the same color so you can make your own embellishments that will match. Does that, I hope that makes sense. I don't know, I'm just yapping. <laughs> You better get a muffin to go with your coffee and tea. It's going to be a while. <laughs> yeah, I feel better. I'm talking too much. Okay. Again, I cannot find this one in stock either. Can you believe this? Like, huh, sometimes shopping outside of the realm, you know, doesn't always work out. But that's okay. It'll come back eventually. It will. I know it will. I like this one. I am into the little critters. Instead of snowmen, 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 sleds, 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 uh, they're coming out with some different things. So I'm kind of excited about that. I love this flower. I am very sad there's only one. But this is a perfect winter. And it's from 2017. Yeah, it is an older line. But that's okay. That's all right. Mark my words. I will find this and if I don't I will do the exact same thing I would do wood grain that's what this reminds this is actually a wood grain print you can see it then I would do red and this blue again it's like pale blue teal not quite either it's pretty so I will build kits and some of those might come right out of my winter tub I have an iris bin that is nothing but winter so again I won't make more than three I just won't because I won't have enough stickers and then I'll get frustrated. I am gonna wish I had this, but you know, I think, I I know me. I probably have a dye very close to this and I could easily make my own flowers. So there's that. It'll make you think of combinations that you normally don't think of. One of the best things I ever learned from Miss Janet Madison of Love RTS, or no, not, she's RTS, sorry. Love RTS is the Facebook group where we all follow Janet, but um, is to not be afraid to make my own kits. I don't need a manufacturer to tell me what to do. I can do it myself. I've been doing this for 20 some years. I'm, I'm, I think I can handle it. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe some days I can. Okay. So I have a lot of doggy pictures. You guys have heard me talk about Mr. Shorty. Oh my Lord. Mr. Shorty. I, I don't even know what to say about Mr. Shorty today. He got me up three times, but he was a good boy. He had to go potty. I think he had an upset stomach. So I'm not going to complain, but it's like having an infant. It's like he's a year old now. And I think he's more work now than he was when he was a puppy. Well, he's still a puppy technically, but 
you get the gist. Anyway, so I have a lot of doggy photos coming up. So I needed some puppy elements. I don't have a lot of it. I, I'm not a big, huge animal person, believe it or not. I'm really not, but my family is, and that's okay. We love them. I love him. He's part of this family, so I got him some stuff. And this is called My Dog from Echo Park, and it's from 2020. So I will either make some page kits, or really I just wanted the stickers. Not gonna lie. I just want stickers. I have a few papers, so I have a couple six by six pads, enough to do what I wanna do. Now, this is my Lost in Neverland, and I will add this to my Disney um, goodies. It is from 2019, and it's an Echo Park line. I just, how cute. They're just cute, right? I told my son we should watch Peter Pan. I think Jake Jason would love it. Anyway, so Lost Boys Clubhouse, awesome, awesome. Now let me get a drink. I still get very hoarse. And this is Little Mermaids. Mm. The reason I got this is for my grandbaby. No other reason. And I do have some things um, I need to do of Jill when she was still younger. But she was never really into mermaids. But my granddaughter, it's unicorns and mermaids. That's her thing. So I did buy this for her. Little Princess Let's Be Mermaids from 2016 Echo Park. Again, they are older sticker sheets. I mean they're a dollar or a dollar 75 like you're how much are these now they're way more than a dollar 75 i think i saw one the other day for five bucks five bucks i'm not paying five bucks for some stickers not mm -mm. i don't care how could they they could be cardbell i ain't paying five bucks maybe i'm just too cheap i don't know but i will pearl in probably a turquoise probably a pink and I would go from there. I would just have, I'm sure I have striped paper like this and I would make two to three page kits and then play. The rest of the stickers, again, once I get done with that, I'll, I'll go over it a little bit. Once I make my page kits, then I complete those page kits because I never have more than 30 page kits. If I have 30 page kits, it's time for me to do something with them, which kind of a News flash here. I am going to be making page kits starting at the end of this week and next week because I got to get ready for 31 days. Uh, um, what is it called? Well, Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, 31 days of sketches. Something like sketches for 31. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, but we're going to make some page kits later this week. Okay, so there's that one. Then I've got um, Just Be You. Anybody want to guess where this one's going? Just a guess. This is going to go on my Native American stash. Because I, I don't know, I just saw feathers and floral and cactus and yeah, this one pretty much, dream catchers. So this will go on my Native American and a lot of teal, yellow, and peach happen to be in a lot of those lines. Now, I do throw a lot of wood grain in with mine. Um, you'll see me do other color combinations. I like to do a lot of brown and red, my favorite, but um, that's what I bought this for. So same thing, I'll just make some page kits. I do have some zoo photos. You guys have heard me talk about that. So I just thought I would throw this in my stash. It's called Jungle Safari from 2016, 2016 from Echo Park. Just cute, right? Like, look at the little guy, he's just cute. Oh, I'm not so sure about this. I think it has too much greenery, but I'll figure it out. Never have too many florals. I love this, pretty, pretty. I love her. Just, I like how the lines are a little more diversified. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I think that's what I mean. <laughs> oh no, I don't, you know, I don't think I learned English. I just learned ginger gibberish. <laughs> that's what I learned, yeah. Okay, this is I Love My Family or I Love Family from 2016 as well, Echo Park. I love this all 100%. I think this is my favorite sticker sheet. Guess why? Brown or red, brown, done. My favorite color combo. I could throw a little bit of turquoise in there and I could make some awesome. Almost wish I would've got two of these, but you know, how many times are you gonna use the same sticker? Yeah. Uh, my other tip is when you have page kits from the same line, if you make a lot of them, try, this is why I do not scrap in chronological, chronological order because I don't wanna go through my albums and see three of the exact same page kits in a row. 
because I just don't, right? I split mine up, you know, I might use pictures from 2016 and 2021, and then you're not gonna notice. They're, nobody's gonna notice. So just another food for thought when you're making page kits and people using them up. I've had a lot of people ask me how I use them up. I, I, I love my page kits. I don't know what I would do without them, to be 100% honest. Okay. The next one is this one and it's called You and Me. I got this for my wedding album. Yeah, cause her colors were pink, gray. So that's why I bought this for Miss Christine and my beautiful, beautiful nephews and my um, brother. That's why I bought this. No other reason. I like the florals, crazy in love. I think that's really cute. I think this is gonna make some really cute swans. You know, we all struggle with that swan paper that was popular, what, two years ago? Lord help me. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so swans and all that good stuff. I'll figure out something to do with that. Then you guys know where this is going, right? Under the sea. Yep, yeah, Echo Park 2017. And I don't even have to say anything. This is for my collections obsession. I'm just going to toss it in there. Okay, so you'll probably see that in the next day or two. And this one, I just, oh. I love this. I have three of these kids. I love this. I love this line to make cards for Christmas. And I love this line to um, every year I do a layout about the birth of Jesus and Christmas and what it means to our family. So yeah, I just grabbed another sticker sheet because I could. I have no reason. Oh, 2018. Oh, holy night. Love this. Okay. So there's that. Now let's get into the paper. Look. Look at that. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's a lot. But you get two sheets of cardstock for $1.20. That's 60 cents, 60 cents a sheet. Um, sometimes she'll have them a little lower or she'll have an extra 25% off on certain papers, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, yeah, let's just have some fun. All right, Coastal, I do have a reason I bought this. I'm not a big beach person. I have made that very clear. But, again... I am obsessed with this lighter colored wood grain. So I bought it for the B side. I mean, I could use it for A, but I'm, I'm probably going to do B. Simple storage, simple stories. <laughs> oh, yeah. Simple story, simple vintage. Coastal. I actually have a few solids. I have the solid pack. And then I have a few little papers. So I'm going to add this to that and I'm going to create a kit. But the reason I picked this is this. Is this not beautiful map paper? It's always brown and gray. And this is a peachy coral. It's really pretty. So I got two of those. Because again, they're two for um, $1.20. Coastal, again, I love this map. But I bought it for this side. Oh, is this not divine? Divine. I I love brown wood grain, but again, I'm obsessed. Obsessed with the lighter stuff. I got this one for the B side. It's a matte paper. We have traveled a lot. Like my husband and I joke around that our two youngest kids have been more places than most adults. <laughs> so I I use a lot of matte paper. So I bought it for the map paper, but I do like this side too. I mean, I do. You could do a fishing layout, right, about this. Now, I would probably cut out the lighthouse, but if you lived on the East Coast where there's lots of lighthouse, yeah. And I'm, knock on wood, planning a trip to go to the East Coast this next year. I'm hoping. All right, this is Howdy. It is the exact same thing as all of the Western stuff I bought. Same line. Simple story. So I obviously wanted this paper to make some page kits because look, it has all the colors and can't go wrong with red gingham. So if I decide I don't like it, that's what I'm going to do. I got some horseshoes and some clouds. Still a howdy line. And my husband worked in Wyoming while we lived in Montana. A long time. Long time. I've been to Wyoming more times than I can count. And little fact, everybody thinks of Montana when they think of going to Yellowstone National Park. Did you know the only reason Montana is known for Yellowstone National Park is because Old Faithful just happens to be in Montana. Most of Yellowstone National Park is in Wyoming. Yeah, and I have lots of Yellowstone photos. So that is why I bought that. And isn't that just a pretty blue? This wouldn't be good swimming layout. Yeah, I have lots of pool pictures too. 
All right, then we're at Happily Ever After Simple Stories. I bought it for the B side because I like smaller floral prints. I am learning that about myself. I like this too, but I really like the B side, okay? And guess what I bought it for? Happily Ever After, do I need to say? Maybe I might use it in wedding. She does have the peachy pinks. I'm gonna have to maybe pair it with some gray, but I think it will lend itself well to that. So we're gonna try it. Worst case scenario, I don't use it for that. I use it for something else, okay? Happily ever after. Now, I don't care for this side. I'm not a big foil person, but I love this smaller floral. This is how I can take florals. But can you imagine this smaller floral, right? With this fussy cut as embellishments and building a page. Yeah, I do that a lot, a lot, a lot. Because this is too much for me. I like florals. I love flowers. I plant them everywhere. But this is too bold of a print for me. But this, this is not. The other thing you could do is you could take this, this side, loving the wood grain, right? And you could fussy cut these and build this up, right? Put some up on foam tape, have your photos, have a title, easy page, done. You don't need to buy all the ephemera. Use your paper. This would be 60 cents, 60 cents. You know, go buy a pack of florals for 60 cents. That's not gonna happen, promise. Anyway, so I like this B-side. Not, I'm not a huge fan of the foil. Then, guess where this is going? Oh, maybe I need to turn it. Here, let me turn it. Under the sea. Look at this, this is almost done, right? You guys, this is the collection obsession kit that I'm working with. So, guess where this is going? <clears throat> yeah, okay, that's where it's going, <laughs> done. Same thing here, even if I just I fussy cut these, right? Of course, there's no stingrays. I could have used some more stingrays. Loving this, but this to me looks like a winter. So I've already decided, because I'm not gonna probably have a whole lot more to do with aquarium stuff after I get done, I will put this in my winter and use this if I do not use it. That's why I bought it. This one is under the sea. How cute is this? Yeah, it's cute. Cute little fishies. All right, then. You know, because I don't need any more Christmas. I bought some more Christmas. <laughs> you know, just because I can. Why not? Was the night before Christmas Echo Park. I'm not sure what year this is from, but guess what side I bought it for? 2017. Yeah, this side. I can never get enough of this deep red. The bright red. Okay, so see, everybody, I've had a lot of people ask me, what's your favorite color red? It's not this. It's this. I, I love red, and this is pretty, it is, but this is so rich and elegant to me. I love deep red. Love it. I know, you're shocked. <laughs> so that's why I bought it. But I will probably stick one in Christmas and one in my red, most likely. I bought this to fussy cut. I'm always needing um, ornaments, I, I, yeah, and bigger ones. So that's the only reason, because I do not like this snowflake. It does not remind me of snowflakes in any way. I mean, it is a snowflake, but mm -mm. nope, not doing it for me. <coughs> I bought that to fussy cut. 60 cents, right? I love this. I think this would make a very good happy horizontal. Um, I'm okay with this. It's my not quite the color brown I like to go with that color red, but it is pretty. And if you need a stripe, you could totally do that. I needed some Halloween papers. Like, I truly do need Halloween papers. I do not have that many. And I'm going to be making page kits with Halloween. Remember I said I was going to make page kits. So this is Trick or Treat. I do have some other papers from this line. And it was from 2019, Echo Park. Love this. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, a story, the story of Christmas. And there's the B side. Now, I love it. You could look at it as arrows, too. That's, yeah, you could. And you guys know why. Snowflakes, red, down. I'm good. I love it. The Christmas trees. All right, so summer fun. I didn't buy it for this side. Nope, I didn't. Oh, I bought it for this side, 2017. This particular paper is called Sweet Treats. This is my thing right now. I know, I keep saying the same thing. Can't help it, sorry. I already have this paper. I have it in lots like yeah I have a lot of this paper because 
while I am not a floral print, I love this. I have used it a lot, so I just bought two more, and I'll put it in my summer bin. This is Summer Dreams by Echo Park. I didn't buy it for this side. Yep, that's what I bought it for. Shiplap. Chip and Joanna Gaines. Can't say shiplap without thinking that. Pirate Tales. I have some ephemera and some goodies um, that Miss Terry sent me. And I have a few pirate, because I have a few pictures of Jason. He dressed up like a pirate one year for Halloween. <laughs> I was pretty cute. Hook and all. So that's why I have this. I'm not crazy about the B side. It, I mean, if, if you're into nautical, it's a good one. I'm not, personally, but that's okay. So there you go. And you get two. So that's why there's two. I probably would have just bought one if I could have. But cheaper to buy two. So then this is Oh Holy Night. It matches the sticker sheet that I bought, right? And I have a lot of it. Love this. I use this almost every single year when I do the layout about the birth of Christ for Christmas. But here's what I use this paper for more. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are faint snowflakes on this and it is a beautiful paper. Beautiful. Love it. So we have that. And this goes in my birthday bin just because I love it. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. I don't like that side. I love this side. And I have cut these out. You can cut out a strip, cut these out, fussy cut them by hand, put a gem in the middle on top of a mini mouse circle. How, how, let's see here. Do I have some scrap paper? Well, you just, you cut out a larger circle, then you cut out two small circles, and then put one of these bows in the middle with the gem, and you got a mini mouse. Simple, simple, right? And Disney is expensive to buy. I have Little Lumberjack. This is one of the lines that I will be playing with. I have the Christmas version and I have this one and it's a wood grain on the B side. I'm going to add these to it because this December you're gonna be seeing me play with it and you guys gotta know why, right? There's a lot of red accents in this line. So that's why I have that one. And this is to go with Miss Mary's um, mermaid theme. I, that's why I bought it. It's Let's Be Mermaids again. Seahorses, not sawhorses, seahorses. <laughs> then I just had to have this cactus paper. I don't think I even need to say why. <laughs> so, oh, and here's the B side, not my jam. I probably would never use that, but I will use this even if I fussy cut these out and or happy horizontal. I take a lot of pictures of cactus around here. I'm learning. Jungle Safari, and I do like the B side. It was 2016 line. This one's called Jungle Map. These are good papers for the zoo. Like if you are starting, let's say you decide to do a zoo album, you could put the name of the zoo and then a photo. Like when we went to the LA Zoo, we have a photo of all of us standing in front of the sign for the LA Zoo. Um, so like you could do that and that's your whole page. Simple, simple. Yeah, love these. And I'm going to be doing zoo photos. Well, that's why I got this one as well. Same line, Jungle Safari. I don't know about that. I mean, I guess if I had a picture, I don't know if I do or not. It's been so long since we went. Junior was still in a stroller. I don't need to say why about this paper. I love winter. I like this side better. It's snowflakes and I love it. So same here. Let's do it. But this, see, isn't that funny how this, did I not show this on the other one? No, no, no I, I thought I did. Is it different? No. Am I losing my mind? Yes. The answer to that is yes. Oh, no, it is different. Look at that. Okay, see, look. Okay, there's that, right? The story of Christmas. Look how close that is. It's just a different color. That's crazy. Now, that's the difference in the red, right? So this is a brighter red, and this is a, a more deep red. Mauve. Not really mauve, but, you know. That's funny. Wow. I love winter and the story of Christmas. <laughs> well, this is a little smaller, I guess. That's funny. I thought I was going, I thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> I really did. I was like, what is happening? No, not losing my mind. I haven't lost it yet. I love this one. This is what I bought it for. I love that snowflake. It's subtle, but I like this side too. Win, win. Nope, didn't buy it for this side. Not gonna lie. I bought it for this side. It's like medallions. And it's my favorite color, red. Red is hard to find sometimes. I know that probably seems like it's not, but it is. Okay, so 
I did not buy it for this side. I bought it for this side because I have a lot of quilting photos. My cousin quilts. You guys know I had my quilt block series. So yeah, I bought it for this side. The sewing machines. And yes, I will fussy cut them out. Snowflakes, snowflakes, and more snowflakes. Absolutely not. Probably will never use that paper, but I would use this one. These are really pretty papers too, and I bought two of them. So there's four of them here. Um, these are really pretty papers to um, layer snowflakes onto, or make it your base instead of a white cardstock, and then add the green and the dark red to it, and you won't notice it as much. I love these papers. And I don't have to cut out snowflakes, they're already there, right? So this one is Celebrate Winter. Um, I do like the B-side, but I'll probably use snowflakes. Yep. I mean, the one thing about buying stuff from Scrapbooks for Less, you have to buy what is available, number one. And two, you, you gotta know what you are, for me, okay? I have to know what I have and what I need. I was almost out of winter backgrounds, for real. Which doesn't even seem possible, because... I have a lot of winter lines, but I really was, I used a lot. So this is a fall paper. It is very pretty, but I bought it for this side. Now I would probably use them together to be honest with you. Look how pretty that is. It's very pretty together. Okay, so, and this is Celebrate Autumn. Oh, I think I even have this collection. <gasps> I haven't gotten in there a while. I mean, I'm about to, cause we're gonna make some page kits for Halloween and fall, but. I think I have this line. I don't even think I've opened it, if I'm being honest. And the reason, what year is this from? 2018. Hmm, I don't remember. I don't remember. I might have to look now. I'm curious. Okay, so this one, I had this, this um, kit. Loved it. Loved it. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. And I love this paper it's got red and blue and it's a fourth of july it's america is the name of it liberty floral and it's from 2020 and then i couldn't find it anywhere so now here we're in 2022 and it's yeah it's in the outlet stores because basically that's what scrapbook for less is you know peachy cheap scrapbooks for less um what is the other one i shop at um cheap scrapbook stuff all of them, they're basically outlets. They're gonna get the older papers. And I snatched these up. A Perfect Winter, is that what this is? I think, yeah, A Perfect Winter. I don't even need to say why I love this paper, right? B side, but I really did buy it for this side. It's got red. I know, you guys probably think my, my, <laughs> my scrapbooks are all red. I will tell you, my actual scrapbooks are red, but no. It's not that bad. When I can find red though, I do buy it a lot. Now, I do like this paper, but I didn't buy it for this paper. This is a perfect winter also. I bought it for this paper. Now here's the thing. I don't think I have this line. I will probably take these two. Oh, and I do have this one. Look, they must've had a lot of it because I do like it. Oh, look, they do. Look, 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 look. Okay, see, look, I could almost have a kit. Let's see, let's see how much I spent. Right? Okay, so I have these two. Then we have this snowflake and we have that. Let's let's break it up a little bit. Then this is a perfect winter. Is that it? Oh no, it's not. So there's that side. Look, look at this. It's gorgeous. Okay, so if I went like this, all right, this one, this one, here's this one, right? You could almost, we'll, we'll count. I'll see how much money I spent and I'll see if it was the same. Okay, is that it? Yep, that's, this is the last one. Okay, so I will have from this kit, don't mind me. All right, so I have one, two, three. Let's see here. Four, five, Oh, come on. Come on, I can't get a hold of it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's almost a kit, right? It's almost a kit. So I would have 10 choices. I think you get 12 in a kit. 
I haven't counted lately, but I think you do. All right, so these are my papers, starting from here to here. So 10 times 60 is $6 and some odd cents, right? So let's say we spent $7 and I pretty much probably have that page kit. Probably do, minus the um, stickers, but that's okay. I mean, look at those owls. Who could not love this owl paper? You don't have to use it for that. That's pretty. I love this paper. Oh, okay. Yes, they're red. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so now we got some fall pick. Oh, look, here's another stickers. Ah, I got two of the howdies. Look at that. I got the sticker sheet too. I didn't even know I got it. This is the saloons. This is really why I bought that whole thing. Okay, so there's that. This is a perfect autumn. Love the trees. Love the trees. Not a huge fan of this. Although when you're doing layouts, you know, lots of times we're looking for stripes or checkered and we'll need that fourth of an inch or half an inch to break up paper. So pretty paper, Echo Park from 2017. And a perfect autumn as well. Leaves, I bought it for the B side. Can never have too much wood grain. Then we've got a howdy paper. Now I must have bought some singles. Nope, yep, I did, I bought some singles. So this is Simple Stories Howdy, same line. That's why I bought it again, yep. And we've got Under the Sea, some cut aparts. Love this page, love it. Under the Sea, I will probably fussy cut. And Oh Holy Night, I bought it for that side. Whoops, and Lost in Everland. Bought it for this side. <laughs> I know, you're shocked. Then we've got a Jungle Safari, okay? I did buy it for this side, because I do have all those zoo pictures. Jungle Safari, bought it for the wood grain. And Celebrate Winter, look at that, is that? No, the other one's not Celebrate Winter, it's, right? No, yeah, but look, look at this. You could totally put this all together. Look at that. It's the same colors. Same colors. What year was this one? 2018. Yeah, see? 2018. Same colors. Just different different accents, basically. There's even the L. It's just instead of red, he's blue. Yeah. All right, you guys. That's my haul. I know. It was long. I hope you enjoyed it. I love watching haul videos, so I thought I would share one. I don't do it that often. I don't, I don't want to be judged for how much money I spend. But I use my product a lot. I mean, you guys see, I do. It's not like I buy things and then I don't use them because I do. I hope you had fun. I hope you will check out and maybe you'll find some good deals of your own with scrap booking for less. And have a blessed day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to do a layout tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.